Hi, welcome back to Crux Puzzles. Today we're going to be having a look at the Hanayama Marble Puzzle. So this is a nice metal puzzle from Hanayama, one of the range that they do. They rank it as 5 stars out of 6 on their difficulty ranking, so that means it's definitely down the harder end of the spectrum. I wouldn't say it's one of the hardest 5 star puzzles, but it's still fairly challenging, and um, you might spend quite a while playing around with this without being able to both take it apart and put it back together again. So you can see it gets its name from this central piece here, so this marble that spins around in the middle, and then there's two outer pieces as well. And you can get rotation off these easily, but actually taking it apart is a bit more of a challenge. So with puzzles, sometimes taking them apart and putting them back together, you find that it's almost exactly the same doing both. Um, once you've taken it apart, you know exactly how you're gonna put it back together again. I would say that's not quite the case with this one. Once you take it apart, you might find that it's actually harder to put it back together again than you found it to take it apart. You can sometimes just stumble across the solution for these ones. Um, but if you do do that, then you might find that putting it back together again is a lot harder. If you do manage to understand what you're doing, taking it apart, then putting it back together is probably not going to be such a challenge. But either way, it's still a really nice puzzle. Um, quite fun to play around with. It's got this kind of different element of two components that you can move independently. So we're going to have a look at the solution for this coming up. If you don't want to see that, I would recommend not watching any further. If you do want to pick one of these up, I'll leave the link in the description down below. We've got these on our website. But next up, let's have a look at the solution. Okay, so the solution for this puzzle. So you have two outer pieces here and the marble is made up of two pieces as well. So what you want to do is you want to have the one of the lines on the marble lined up with the pieces of the, with the outer pieces as well. So you create almost this line coming down here all the way across. And then what you're going to do is twist these pieces. So you can see I'm twisting these pieces and as you spin it, it's not going to lined up quite perfectly. The two pieces spin and come apart. And then you've got the four separate pieces that make up the puzzle. So you've the two pieces of the marble, and they fit together, and the two outer pieces as well. So that's taking it apart. And if you're playing around with this one quite a lot, you might find that you've stumbled across the taking it apart solution and you need to put it back together. So this bit could be a little bit trickier. It's fairly straightforward if you do know what you've done to take it apart, but we'll just go over that again here anyway. So you fit the marble pieces back in. And this is the point where you need to have these marble pieces lined up correctly. So if you're looking at it from the top down like we are, you can see that the edges here are meeting up. So you need to have these lined up correctly with the edges of the marble meeting up with the outer pieces. Then you're going to take the two pieces, you're going to fit them together like this, and this is where you'll know if you've got the marble lined up correctly or not. And you create this almost a square, I would say it's more of a rectangle perhaps, with these two pieces, and then from here, you're just going to take the right hand piece and twist it back into the shape, and that's it. And there it's back into one piece again. So fairly straightforward. If you know what you're doing, it's a nice smooth single move to get it back together again. A fun puzzle though, fairly challenging and a good, a good level for, for most people. If you're just getting into it, it's probably going to take you quite a while. If you've been doing puzzles for, for a long time, it might be a bit easier for you. As I said, if you do want to pick this one up, I'll leave the link in the description down below. But that's it for today. Hopefully see you in the next one.